guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to my Motel 6 room out here in beautiful LA. If you guys didn't see yesterday's vlog, well, you missed that on a lot. I am here in LA for Winter Nam 2018. Now the show is not until tomorrow, so today we have another free day, and we're gonna do something very, very cool, or at least in my opinion. Today we are headed to the DJ City offices. We're gonna meet the people who work there. We're just gonna take a tour and see what it's all about, talk about DJ City a little bit. I'm excited to vlog this for you guys. If you guys remember last year, we did a tour of American DJ, and today, we're gonna be doing DJ City. You guys ready for this? Yeah, buddy. DJ City, here we come. Let's do it, folks. Yeah. Woo. We are in Culver City out here in LA, and I am right outside of the DJ City offices. If you guys don't know what DJ City is, what the hell is wrong with you? DJ City is, um, record pool news organization they do a lot of stuff they run a YouTube channel they're all over the world they are global if you're a DJ then you've definitely heard of DJ City they were nice enough to invite me so I'm gonna go check it out I'm so used to just the website I can finally see something tangible this is gonna be nuts I'm so excited <laughs> Good, how are you? Good, good. I'm here to see Styles. Yes, we're yes. Take a seat right here on home. Yo, what's up, what's up brother? How are you, how are you doing, man? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Everybody, this is DJ Styles. Hey, Styles hey, Davis. What up? Welcome to DJ City. Awesome. Everybody, this is DJ Barr. So these guys do the edits, Tall Boys. Tall, Tall Boys. Boys, man, I've used that all day. Yeah, Everything. he's a big user. So. <laughs> Patricia does vlog and uh, customer service stuff, and Courtney's our operations manager. Awesome. And we're actually just in the back shooting with um, Brace. So what's up, man? What's up, man? At DJ City, about to shoot a DJ yeah. Beckett routine. Oh, and, uh, Brace. Bro, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> it's the other homie. I got it mixed up. He thinks all Canadian people like. Yeah, I thought you guys were all the same. <laughs> Dope, man. So this is where it all happens. I'm used to being on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> How many angles do you guys take for this? Uh, right now we're gonna do probably two or three angles. We have a GoPro, this setup right here, and then the steady cam. Yeah. So what we'll do? <laughs> Did you create this yourself, no. that, that fader? No, I didn't. Uh, John Bees did. He'll actually be at Nam tomorrow. Yeah, oh, wow. he has the new, the new. This is the pre-production, but he. It's called the fretless fader. Wow. Yeah. So, so. What is it called? The front fretless fader. Fretless fader. Wow. Essentially, that's the uh, middle, high octave, low octave. I can transpose it. And I have different scales. So blues. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. Um, it has a lot of steps. So. Yeah. <laughs> then you can put. So when you're on stage with a band, nobody can really tell what you're actually doing sometimes. So I have to. Because with the scratch sound, people can tell, like, oh, something's happening there, but when it's in key... Sick, man. You don't lose tracking like where you are. I mean, there? like guitar players that go like this and shit like yeah. that. That's how what we think about them, right? But okay. they, that's their job. They play. Just Being a t turntablist, like if you make a mistake and people see it on your face, yeah, then you're losing. But if you make a mistake and play into it, like for example, I meant to do, I meant to do that, right? But then let's say I went. And they're like, if I get shocked, like, uh oh, <coughs> didn't mean to do that. But then I just play. And I play into it and then repeat it. 
the mistake becomes the actual yeah, part of the actual, actual routine. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that's some, some other level stuff. You know, man, music turntable is always going to get more musical. This came out in like 2009. I saw the first video on it and I was trying to try on this? it down. Whoa. But just, just this thing. So the original version was like he took an 06 Pro and cut it in half. Yeah. And then just like embedded all these different things to make. But it this work. isn't out on the market, right? This isn't something you can go out uh, and what get. What this year is about? Yeah, they're trying it, to take it to market. Okay. Yeah, with Innovator. This is a 3D printed version, and um, I couldn't, you know, wait. And how's that connect? It just mm. you have to take your fader apart. So the fader's inside. I just leave them there because if I'm on tour or something and I have to switch to like they yeah. don't want. They're just doing a club DJ night and they're like. They couldn't be bothered with it. I swap it back if they don't have like a 62 or something. But my favorite setup, table 62, table, and then 57 running through the um, send and return of the 62. Okay. And then I can scratch and do my mixing like normal and then come on the side because um, it's still connected to the right turntable yeah. and do some fretless on top of it. And you know, even at clubs I've made it work because people just hear like, I know that song, I don't know that bass line he's scratching on yeah. Like, what is that? And then they're like, oh, and it's not that regular scratching where <laughs> People like expect like, oh, now it's my turn to scratch. I'm yeah. gonna like do it all on fresh, 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 and then people are like, okay, it's the the scratching moment of the night. <laughs> Great to meet you, man. How you doing, Zach? Nice, 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 nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Bar. This is where it all happens, huh, guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's the process here, guys? What do you guys do? We talk about which 105 to 100 BPM transitions the tall boys should make. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all kind of come in here and, and just... Those are my favorites, too. <laughs> chat about what's what's hot new music that's been released stuff that needs edits you guys like really bang out the uh the major intros and transitions and tools that everybody's our, playing yeah most of our dj yeah. city customers are accustomed to but. yeah we try to put our heads together to make sure that like everything's covered and figure out what needs a short edit or how to get that kendrick purse up front utility edits which are like intros and transitions and stuff like that and then there's like creative things like kick cut up like acapella intros so what's the process like how do you guys go about like choosing and picking records and things like that we just well, watch the charts and see what's coming out you know and figure out uh if it's new and it's hot uh if we need to offer it and, and what other yeah, man, but but you guys you guys are on top of it like well before like anybody's like playing it. Yeah. yeah, like today we just released the little John's new single. John sent it to us last night, mm -hmm. asked us to post it. So it's always it funny. Well, technically we had it last week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when artists yeah. drop their shit right at midnight, yeah, it's interesting because you'll get a bunch of emails coming in and you're like, it's midnight. Like, who's emailing me right now? And then it's the music team and like somebody heard about it and then they started an email thread and then someone's already working on intros and then we're all trying to figure out like when drake drops like 10 tracks we're like shit we all have to like drop what we're doing right now listen to this try to figure out what three or four tracks we need to offer what are going to be the ones that they try to put on the radio and we just make educated guesses wow. like, right right like on the spot i remember diplo center Major Lazer, Ed Sheeran remix, and that thing we had it for weeks before he dropped it, like a really, oh, yeah. a really long time. We were sitting on. I played it out for weeks before we were even able to sort of put it up on the site because they weren't ready to release it yet. But he just like sent it over when that song was already number one. So we were like just waiting on it, waiting on it to drop it. What's the turnaround? How long does it take to like put together like an edited version of it? You guys yeah, pretty quick. About it. Simple edits like transitions and intros. Couple minutes, thirty seconds for tall boys. Oh really? <laughs> no, I mean, they'll we'll give like a list of they'll come up their own edits and list things to do. They'll pop out transitions within a, and edits other edits within a day. Bootlegs, trap bootlegs, yeah. transition. Yeah, it all yeah. depends. It depends on what you have to work with. Like yeah. every song that we go to edit, like there might be a really nice like two bar drum loop. That doesn't take very much time to loop that for eight or sixteen bars. But sometimes we have to recreate it, and that'll take like. Do they send you guys like the instrumental and acapellas to make it a bit of it easier, sometimes, or sometimes, sometimes not? Yeah. Sometimes these guys build the instrumentals. Yeah, sometimes we remake the instrumentals, like rebuild it. 
It's nice when they'll send us a little instrumental loop that we can make the intros with, but that's like extra lucky for us to get them. So it's more common that they don't send you anything, they just send you the record itself? Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, they used to send multiple versions all the time, acapellas, instrumentals all the time. Yeah. Not so much anymore. So now you'll see a lot of the DIY acapellas and stuff. That's yeah. mostly Kid Cut Up. He does a lot of that stuff. And sometimes we'll have to make, like, we'll talk boys to go with their old conversions to yeah. the side. Yeah, some of those management people over at the labels who are working with the big artists, I think the ones that are really smart, they make sure that either the production has something on the front of it that we can use or they send us something to use because they're like, we don't want a sloppy intro version being played on every radio station everywhere. So if they're smart, they will send us something, but sometimes they don't and it, it'll sound a little bit off. They try to police the track, you know, the, the labels do at least. Yeah. yeah it's, it, like they all have different release it's strategies and this is smart. for some of the records, DJ Smirk. DJ What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. For some of the records, they know it's going to be a smash, so they don't want any of the parts of it out there. But yeah. if they, they're like, okay, we need to make a push with this record, they'll put all the parts out there, so hopefully people will remix it and it'll get more on the general public's radar. If they want that extra push, they'll put those parts out. But like, like when Kendrick released uh, his single off his last album, it was like it came out and they knew like we got the instrumental like not too long after that because like we we need that to make that because everyone's going to be playing it and they didn't need to put that stuff out but you know they sent it to us because we needed it so you want to say anything about dj city man thank you so much for the we love the dj community yes Come yes. join us. Join DJ City. Join Sign DJ up, guys. City. DJ DJing City. DJing. DJing in general, culture, yeah. record pool. Anything yeah. else you want to say, man? Anything you want to plug? Yeah, thanks for coming out, man. I'm glad we yeah. made it on the channel, baby. Yeah. DJ Bar channel. Yeah, thank you so now. much. DJ City, thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, this was dope, man. For sure. Got to hang out with the guys. Got to see the studio. Got to see behind the scene. Yeah. Got to find out a little bit how things work in the record pool business. Learned a lot of stuff, man. Thank you so much. Time, Appreciate it. Anytime you're in LA. All right, thank Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you guys, man. Bye bye, guys. Bye. Okay. All right, see you, homie. See you, dude. All right, that was so dope getting to tour DJ City. I got to meet a lot of the guys who worked there. I had no idea it was like that. It was awesome meeting some of the remixes, some of the guys that I play every weekend it's insane meeting them i got to meet tall boys it was awesome thank you so much to dj styles and also we got to see dj brace you guys saw that sick sick uh video they were shooting he has like a crazy crossfader that you can also do scales on so you can change the pitch right on the crossfader it's already hard enough doing like side to side but now you're adding up and down that's insane what he was doing in there i've never seen anything like that if you guys love dj culture or anything like that check out dj DJ City. It is awesome. It was a dope, dope experience. Thank you, DJ Styles. Thank you, DJ City. And uh, thank you for this hat. This was awesome. Thank you. Checked into the hotel, ready to rock and roll. They gave me some complimentary water. It was dope. I love being a high member. Woo! We are out here at the Hyatt Place in Anaheim, California. And that's pretty much it. This is where we're going to be staying for the majority of our stay because the NAMM show starts tomorrow. Woo! All right, I just finished editing the vlog. It is exporting right now. I'm going to do my best to stay up to date with these vlogs. Normally when I do travel vlogs, I actually go to the location, film, and then when I get back home, I start editing everything. But I'm very behind on vlog. I'm going to do my best on this trip to try to crank out the videos as I go along. I don't promise it, but I'm doing my best. If you're watching this back-to-back -back videos, then I'm doing a good job. If you're watching this with gaps in between, then I'm not doing a good job. But all right, guys, I am going to sign off from this vlog right here, right now. Big shout outs to the homie DJ Styles. Big shout out to the crew at DJ City. If you're not signed up to a record pool, I highly, highly recommend DJ City. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comments below. Let me know what record pool you use. Do you guys use DJ City? I sure do. Please like this.
this video if you like this. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day one of the NAM show. Is that goddamn? Signing off for my Hyatt Place Hotel out here in Anaheim, California. Your boy, your homie, DJ Barr. Stay awesome, bros. Peace.